I really enjoyed visiting today's garden centre. They had a really huge variety of plants on offer and they had small and large versions so you could pick your size and they had a lot of hidden gems in there that I hadn't seen before. So now I'm going to share with you what I got. First up is this gorgeous Diffenbachia Camilla and I recently bought another type of Diffenbachia and it was more of these kind of speckled variegation. This one's got these gorgeous almost white coloured leaves. They're more of a sort of really light green. And just look how the light catches them. It's so pretty. And they actually had quite a few varieties of different back here in this shop today and they were all beautiful. They even had some mature different back here too and as they get more mature they seem to get a sort of a longer stalk or trunk it gets quite woody by the looks of it so i'm kind of looking forward to seeing mine grow into mature plants as well that will be fun but yeah i'm just really in love with this plant at the moment all the different beautiful types next is this sansevieria fernwood and this is the one that kind of looks like fingers and this one was 19.99, and as with most snake plants this one is super tough and a survivor but I just think it's a really nice change from the other kind of snake plants that I've got. The different shape of the leaves is really nice. It does just look like spindly fingers which I really like. And this next little plant, my husband actually chose this one. He always chooses such cute little plants. And this is a English ivy. And it seems to be a variegated version. And I know these ones can be quite invasive when you grow them outside, but indoors, obviously, it doesn't need to be a problem as long as you keep it away from your walls. So it should be quite fun to see this one grow. I'm going to try and give this one a good amount of light so that it can grow because it's just a little baby at the moment. This one was £3.49 and it will be interesting to see how this one grows over the coming spring and summer, how fast it will be. I think if I give it plenty of light it might actually be quite a fast grower but we'll see. And I also found a philodendron pink princess and these used to be really expensive didn't they but They've really come down in price now. This one was $15.99. And I thought I'd give it a go because I've always fancied a pink princess, but you don't really get to see them too much in the garden centers here in the UK. So when I saw this, I thought, well, I'll give that a go. And it's got also these gorgeous red stems. You can see there's a new leaf coming in there, which is exciting. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to give this one a go because I've kind of fancied one for a while. And I am prepared for the fact that the pink variegation may not last. It may do, it may not. We'll see what happens, but I'm just going to find it fun to see what this plant does. And yeah, this is kind of a wish list plant, which was kind of at the back of my mind, but I wasn't sure I'd ever see it in the garden centres. And also I wasn't prepared to pay the high price tag that you used to have to pay for this. But this year it seems that this one has really come down in price. And I'd say that's probably the most variegated leaf there. It's really pretty. And yeah, I'm going to have to find this one a complimentary pot to bring out the pink in it. But I'm really happy to have this one. If you've been following along on my channel, you'll know that I am a bit of a philodendron addict. So to have this one in my collection is really cool. Next is this Croton. And this is the Croton Petra. And this is another one that my husband actually chose. And he asked me, did I like it? I said, yeah, I really do. Um, I think I mentioned in previous video, actually, that I was on the lookout for more interesting coloured plants. 
variegation so it was really fun to have got this one and I do believe this one requires quite a lot of light in order to survive because I did look up the plants that I bought as soon as I got home to find out more information on them and it seems that you need to make sure you give this one plenty of light to keep the variegation so I'm going to look for a good spot in my home where it gets good light and um, it does like humidity too so I may try this one in the bathroom and this is one of those plants that I think I need to pay a little more attention to it's not one of the ones you can just hope for the best and it will be quite hardy um, I hear that they can be a little finicky but once you get their care right they're okay so I am going to be giving this one a little bit more attention than some of the more hardy and easy to look after ones but I just love this colour it's beautiful I'm definitely into the orange variegation at the moment I don't know if there are any other orange plants but I shall keep my eye out and one of the types of plants that I was after was some sort of syngonium and they did actually have some of these tricolour syngoniums and they were £30 which is quite expensive for a small plant however I happened to find this one in the sale section and I got this one for £10 which was an absolute bargain and it's just got some of the leaves missing and it's a little bit less full than some of the other syngoniums that were full price but syngoniums tend to be quite fast growers so I thought I will give this one a go it's got that lovely mottled variegation on there and a little bit of pink so I'm interested to see how this one grows and I may need to give this one a little more light than I give to my Syngonium white butterfly because it is variegated. So we'll see how we go with that one. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.